All right, hey there, Proxius. This is Proxify here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Paper Mario and the Origami King. Now, guys, if you did miss out in the last episode, we have finally opened up ourselves the Temple of Shrooms, and uh, we actually went and got to go out and battle out some Paper Macho Mummies, which that was actually uh, pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, basically, after all of that, uh, we are now going to be continuing our way through out the other halfway portion part of the Temple of Shrooms, and hopefully try to battle out Hole Punch boss that may probably not happen uh maybe not in this episode but probably the next one just so that in the next episode we can have enough time to basically take care of the whole punch boss and whatnot and have not to worry about this episode in particular trying to do the boss fight because i if i do remember so correctly uh we do have to do a little bit of backtracking here in the temple of shrews because at some point we do actually have to go and find out some different like uh i, I guess like different vinyl records uh to give over to this toad because uh, we have to find the different music that uh the whole punch boss that would actually uh, that that actually likes uh one of the musics so that he could actually come out and 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 uh, basically do some dancing for us now if you guys could look up here uh, I, I i remember um in the last episode we actually got to see this exact same thing here but as, as you guys could tell that there's actually a pipe and there's also a chest that we could do right now uh but unfortunately we can't really go ahead and grab it at the moment because unfortunately this barrier is blocking our way so uh i think if i remember so correctly i think the next room that's happening right out after this i think there is a uh area of, of where there's the other side of the of the warp pipe and that should actually take us over here now also too hopefully you guys are having yourself a good thursday or friday uh i don't know exactly uh when this video is gonna be coming out i'm pretty much certain that i think you guys are gonna be seeing this on thursday of course um but i still don't know exactly if the cage lock is still gonna be a thing or not uh so hopefully you guys could just uh stay tuned just a little bit more uh hopefully we could try and get a cage lock match or something uh gonna be happening uh throughout uh throughout next week and or uh, even continue throughout the actual cage lock uh, series as well um so hopefully we can see something uh next week or or maybe uh within uh within due time uh but unfortunately i still haven't got uh got any word uh not back from dre crow yet so i don't know what's going on um but uh hopefully he's doing okay uh so yeah let me just go and just head on into here and uh Let's just go and continue on. So we got, oh yeah, so if you guys remember, these are where all the Goombas, uh, the Macho Goomba mummies, uh, mummy things were. Now, I believe there was actually another doorway or something down here, wasn't there? Or, or actually, I think it was just passed down this door. There was actually uh, two different uh, set of doors that we could actually go here. Now, uh, here's this guy. Yeah, the toad that got his face all hole punched. Which, that's not good. And, yeah, so these were the different buzz that were for the last episode, and we opened up this uh, side up here. Now, I'm pretty certain that this is also a little uh, a little bit of a secret area out here. So, we could go and uh, explore what this is going on. And, oh, man, we're going to get right into a battle out here. All right, let's do it. Oh, wow, we actually got to go and battle out uh, some actual booze. Now, um, this one is going to be a little bit crazy, um, because you actually have to kind of move around... Uh, the different Oh, uh, man, okay, so we're kind of locked up here at the moment Well, that kind of sucks Well, at least these blues are kind of just stuck there Okay, so these guys are still not going down yeah, this is the first time that we actually do get to see these boos and I can't really remember on, on how exactly you're supposed to knock these guys out because it is uh, a little bit hard uh, to, to knock out those boos anyways. Okay, here we go. Oh, block. Ah. Oh, no. Ah. Leave me alone, you annoying crazy boos. Oh, no. Ah. He's sticking out his tongue at me. Not cool, man. Okay, well, now this shouldn't be that hard. So, all we have to do is just kind of... Oh. No, I think it's this way here. Oh, what? Oh, I literally missed it by just, uh, just by a millisecond. Okay, so let me just see. I think this should work. Nice. Alright, thank you, Flashy Boots, for saving our hide out there. And there we go, and the boo is gone. Nice, now we don't have to worry about those anymore. I think this is, like, gonna be, like, the only time I think that we are gonna be only seeing the boos that are gonna be around here. Um, but I do see that there is another boo that's around, and I was just trying to see if I can dodge past it. Ooh, here we go. So there we go, we got ourselves a fire elemental statue, I'll take that though. 
Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Hey 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 hey! You stay there! You stay there! You don't you don't you don't move! Hey, I see you moving around. You don't you you, you don't do anything. I'll just grab out the last bit of these coins and run. Okay, and here we go, heading all the way upstairs. Now I think these are where uh, some toads are also going to be here as well too, right? Yeah, there's another hole punch toad. Ah. Wow, these guys are just coming out of the woodwork out here. Alright, I'll just try to grab as these as much as possible. Okay, now let's just head on out of here. So yeah, that's two actual uh, hole punch toads right now. But if we head upstairs, I think there's going to be a little bit more. Oh man, look how creepy this place is. This feels like some uh, night in the museum going on. Hopefully none of these things don't really come to life or anything on us. Whoa! Oh my god. There's a whole bunch of all of these other hole punch toads going on. Maybe I can pull these guys off. Alright, well there we go. We kind of saved them a little bit. <laughs> Alright, well that was a little bit creepy. Oh right, is this where all the toads are going to be located? Yeah, they're all kind of like uh, stuck around the spider web thing going on. So yeah, those are the rest of the other uh, hole punch toads. And unfortunately, uh, for some reason I have like this kind of like weird reference uh, to something. Because like, I don't know if you guys have ever played like the Batman like Arkham Asylum games. But if you guys uh, remember that there is like a boss, uh, I think there is a boss that is uh, by the name of, uh, oh. I want to say his name is, is, is Professor Pig, and I'm pretty sure he also uh, does some stuff with like with, with like the different faces of like of like the people that 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 he like does all of his bad stuff with, and, and and it feels like that's a little bit of a reference to what the whole punch boss is because like uh, because like for me I, I I love Arkham Knight that's like one of my favorite games and I and I remember seeing Professor Pig being a part of it. Okay, so we have one, two. Three. There we go. Now that is a great lineup. Now that is a much better lineup from before. See, at least we now know how to take care of these annoying boos out here. Look at that. 36 damage and all the way around. Nice. And unfortunately our flashy boot, uh, iron boots are broken, but that's okay not to worry because we still have plenty more of the iron boots that we still have in our, uh, in our inventory right now. Not the flashy iron boots, but just the normal iron boots. Uh, here we go. Nice. I will surely take some of those. I need some hidden blocks here. Ah, uh, yes. We also get a full one out here, too. Nice. Oh, so, so these things do come out alive, and they're going to be some dry bones. Whoa. Oh, well, this is not good. Alright, now I just need to try and figure out on how we can get around this part. Oh, actually, what I could probably do is do it like that. Aha! Oh, no. Okay, so that's not going to work at all. Hmm. Uh, let me just add in a little bit more time because I think I know how to do this. Because what if I just kind of move him like that, right? And then we just leave him like there. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we'll just push him down here. Oh. Kind of had it there. There. And then just move him down. Oh, but that's not going to work at all. Man. Well, uh, I guess what we'll just try to do is just do some flashy iron boots out here. Nice. Okay, so they all folded down. Uh, we'll do one more flashy iron boot out here. Yeah, like these break, like these guys just break on impact anyways, so. It, there you go. He's breaking down. Now just one more. Whoa, fly bone. Oh no, they're all back up, dude. Ugh. 
they're just gonna make this battle a lot more annoying, aren't they? There, I think that kind of works. Uh, you can't do anything about with these guys. Man. Alright, well, let's just go and kind of break them down. Okay. We'll just do one more quick jump. And hopefully Toe can just go and knock out both of these two guys so they don't have to become such a problem. Enemy's turn. Ah, oh, okay. I have to run away from this battle, dude. Like, can I just flee? I don't think I've ever fleed before. But that's the first time that I've actually fled because those... Those guys are just so annoying, man. Oh, no. We got a whole bunch of holes and everything going on. Hey, we got, uh, got ourselves our very first actual... Uh, Disc, which that is actually something very nice. Our very first actual CD. Hey, you found some kind of shiny disc. That's pretty. But now we're gonna go into this horrible thing right now. Oh god! Uh, no 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 no! Hey, you just stay right there and you don't even do anything there. You annoying boo! Let's go run. Head inside. Oh right, yeah, we got this little puzzle game out here now I can't really remember exactly on how this is actually supposed to work but I think we have to like line it up to like create like some sort of like star or something if I remember and I don't think it's really all that too difficult because I think you could just make your star without even having to worry about anything so let me just fill up all this we'll just uh, get this toad out of here eh. There we go. Kind of helps some of these toes that are kind of locked in place. Now, if you guys can see, there's actually a star that's like right here. And I'm pretty certain if you just hit all the different, um, uh, all the different things that are here, you can line this up to create a star. Oh. Hold on. So, star lights your way. Yes. So, I don't know if we have to hit... The different buttons that are here but I just hit all the different there that creates a star so that's how you do it like I know how, how you do that part so I think that's about it I don't think there's really anything else that's here no so that's basically about it. So all we have left now is just basically heading up these stairs up here. Grab some other extra confetti. Because why not? We need to pick at least some more of these confetti up here. Oh no, we got some shy guys now. Hold it. Oh no, we got a frisk. Yeah, hey, it's the job. Oh no, we got some shy guys. And we also got some hammer bros out here too. Now this really shouldn't be that too much of an issue because this one seems not that too bad. You just kind of move those guys there, I guess, and then. Ah, uh, okay. Hold on. Maybe if I. Uh... Oh, you can't even do anything with that. Huh. Oh, this was actually a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. Like. I'll try to get them like that. Eh. Well, that's all the best I could do. I don't think I could do anything else. Alright, well, uh, we do have the flashy uh, hammer. So let's actually go and set up this one up. This should take care of all the shy guys. We don't have to really worry about them anymore. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll set up a shiny hammer on these guys. I think they can take a shiny hammer. Oh, they're still alive. 
Uh, nothing. Uh oh. Uh, they're sacrificing their own body at me, dude. Ouch. Ouch. Hey. Calm down, man. Alright, uh, we need to use up another flashy iron boot. I don't think I can do anything else to get that much damage out of here. Oh no, shiny iron boots are gone, but hey, we finally did it though. 310, uh, 310 coins. Nice. So mighty five shiny iron boots you had there. Oh, well, thank you, shy guys. Alright, so that is all of those collected. All the confetti. Ah, uh, and here it is. Now, this is the place right here. Now, unfortunately, we can't really worry about um, doing the boss here. Unfortunately, not right now. Well, this is fun. I don't know what's happening, but my hips suddenly started shaking them by, myself, uh, by themselves. I'm at a loss for words. This is unlike like I've ever seen in my studies of the antiquities. And that crown jewel in the center of the uh, ceiling is simply stunning. I wonder what's inside. Dare I say it belongs. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Professor, but there is uh, the streamer. It looks like it's going to be going into that door, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's where the hole punch boss is. Unfortunately, we can't really see what his room is, uh, unfortunately. But, uh, hey, DJ. Uh-oh. Here comes out trouble. You call that music? I call it a racket. Stop scratching around and put on something that I can dance to. If I ain't moving to the groove when the needle drops, I'm going to collect your face like a limited edition 7-inch single. Yo, 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 don't do that. I'll cue up something. Groovy with the quickness, my man. But we do have one of his discs. But I believe there is like three in total. So Mario, you gotta save me. This guy is such a weirdo. He keeps asking for the groovy music to cut the rug to. I don't look like I'm 100 years old. I'm a DJ, man. I have no idea what that means. My face is at stake here. Yo, help my face. You gotta help out. Uh, no, not your face. That's where you put your sunglasses. Anyways, what's going with the song that was just playing? I happened to get out of, uh, I, I, I just happened to, I think it was quite groovy. I don't know this guy's taste in music. No sense to me, but he is very opinionated. He doesn't like any of the music that I put on. He won't come out of that room. Anyways, here's how you can help. I dropped some of my sound discs around the way out here. Maybe one of those discs has a tune like this guy will actually like. I'll try to buy some time while you're looking. Just get those discs and bring them back to me. And there and there are four of them. Okay, so there's actually four, not three. Oh, however, in, uh, is in that room is uh, one taking all these poor toes' faces. So we got to get them out of that room and somehow reface those toes. But what kind of group? Uh, what kind of music is groovy enough for him to get out of here? All right. Well, let's actually go and take care of some of the uh, coins that are around. Get some uh, extra coins and stuff. I think there's also, uh, oh man, look at all this. Oh, well, if you guys are wondering, this is where the, uh, the warp pipe is. And, oh no, there's a boo, and then there's also dance with us. No, I don't want to be dancing with none of you. Oh my goodness, look at all this. This is one crazy, insane battle going on. Oh man, um... Well, all I could say is that, like, I could probably drag him here and then get him like that. There we go. Great lineup. We finally did it. Okay, sweet. Uh, unfortunately, I have to use up all my shiny boots out here because I need to knock out these annoying boos because they're going to become an issue. Stay with that uh, Koopa, that toy Koopa. All right, flashy hammer time. Unfortunately, this is like the only flashy hammer that I have. But they're gone. They're knocked out. Now it's all about... Uh, I guess I'll do some normal boots because I think these guys can also get knocked out with just the normal boots. There we go. Not too shabby. That was a perfect one. That was a perfect bonus. Nice. Okay, so before I go end off this video, I want to go and make sure to pick up uh, the next chest that's down here. And I'm pretty certain, I think this is also uh, a collectible or a toad or one of the discs here, but we'll check it out. It's another one of the discs. So there's Heartbeat Skipper. So that's two discs already. And it looks to me that there's an outdoor part out here. Interesting. Okay. Hold on. 
So let me just go ahead and back in here. I'll do a quick save and I'll end off this episode here. So at least we figured out that there's two other floors that we can go and check out around out here. I don't think there's any type of missing holes uh, before I end off this video. I'll check upstairs, see if there's anything that's going on. Yeah, I don't see really any missing holes, so we're so we're good. I do see that there's a door over here. Oh, there is a missing hole. Okay, I want to make sure to pick up this. Nice. But it looks like there's a door that's back there, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay, there is a door back here. Okay, so we actually have three different entrances. Okay, neat. Okay, so let me just save. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end on this episode here for today. Uh, in the next one, it looks like uh, to me that there is three different doors that we can go and enter to. There's one uh, when we just hop inside the actual pipe. There's actually uh, one that's actually near us to the far right. And there's actually a basement floor that we can also uh, go and check out as well, too, to figure out where the other last two other discs are going to be. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know when the next Paper Mario Origami King is coming out. Uh, but I may probably say maybe on Saturday, I would probably want to say maybe Saturday you guys should be seeing uh, the next episode of Paper Mario Origami King. Uh, and you guys should also be seeing uh, for this week, uh, for Thursday, if uh, if nothing doesn't happen uh, with the cage lock, you guys will be seeing the championship battle in the Ultra Sun Let's Play uh, against Professor Kakui. So that's going to be pretty awesome. And can't wait till we go and complete out Ultra Sun Let's Play. And it's going to be nice. So I'll see you guys then. And peace.